I set sail on a voyage of my own to try and think about the sea as clearly as he did, to sail as well and as bravely as he did. He had set the high standard that I was now setting myself. I'm leaving Brixham Harbour right behind me on a fabulous summer's evening and I've left from here on so many great adventures to sail to the Azores and, and to sail the Atlantic single-handed. I did all that from here and now I'm leaving again. And this, this could be the biggest adventure of them all. I was sailing south to find a new place as he had found himself a better place. And so it is that time of year again to go to sea for better or for worse, where silver sails break sun in golden shards and I can work at being pure again. I sailed in tropical heat and floundered under doldrum skies. I reached the tropical islands of South America with their harbours of blissful refuge. Then to the cold and wild South Atlantic, to the roaring forties, where we all cling on for dear life. And then, after 9,000 miles of sailing, it was a cold and wet greeting from the dreaded Cape Horn at the uttermost end of the world. It is here at the edge of the earth, where magic might happen. The misty islands of Tierra del Fuego. The morning runs on, a springtime secret, through the avenues and avenues which lure all sound away. Through the tiniest of avenues we sailed to the lonely Staten Island. Squeezing between rocks into a secret place. A springtime secret through the avenues and avenues which lure all sound away. And our reward was a sailor's heaven of more peace and beauty in one place than we had any right to expect. Then the greatest avenue of them all, the great highway from the Atlantic to the Pacific Ocean, the Beagle Channel. Here is real silence amongst the mountains and the ice. I sing as I was taught. Inside myself. I sing inside myself when wild moments slice some tender evening like a breeze that rattles gravel and digs in the dirt. Here, the air is clear, and in the silence, thoughts and memories become clear too. I sing inside myself the one wild song, song that whirls my words around until a world unfurls my ship's new sail. I catch the dew and set a course amongst the ocean curls. This is the song's end, when no words of description are left. The silence at the song's end. 
when ice of centuries ago silently melts into the modern day. The silence at the song's end. Before the next is the world. Of the 9,000 miles back home, I sailed 6,000 of them alone. What is important is to remember that it is not the way in which we record our existence, but that we do record it. In the air and everywhere around, we must remember how the streets ring out for every soul that thought and felt and passed through them in weakness and in strength. And the oceans ring out too, for all those who have sailed them. And now, I know this, that it matters not who is with us or far away, because none of us ever truly voyage alone.